Hello and welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about type def or type definition in the C programming language. So what is type def? In C programming language there is a keyword called type def which you can use to give a type a new name. For example you can see on your screens if we have the data type unsigned character then by using the type def keyword we can call this unsigned character byte. And then to create variables of this particular unsigned character data type, we simply have to write byte b1, b2, and so on. So, what is the syntax of type def? So, as you can see on the screen, we have the keyword type def followed up with the existing variable name, which are mostly reserved keywords, and then your name or the name that you want to give it, which is also known as the alias. If you look at the screen, we have an example of type def. So, first up, we have the keyword type def. And then we have the existing data type, which is the unsigned integer. And then I want to call this unsigned integer a unit. So for that, I'm going to put the word unit in front of it. So rather than using the keywords unsigned and integer, I can simply use the keyword unit to define my variables. So let's simply move on to code and let's code the same example over here. So first up, we have the keyword type def. And then I want to change the name of unsigned integer to something called unit. And then I want two of these unit variables. So I'm going to create unit, just like you create a normal variable, you put the data type first. And this time around, we are using the alias of the data type. And then I want my variables to be called as i and j. So I'm going to give these variables some values. For example, I'm going to give i the value of 10 and j the value of 20. My bad, this is j and not k. And then I'm simply going to write a printf statement and I'm going to show this value of i and j onto the screen. Let's also add an escape sequence over here. Let's try executing this program. Let me bring this up. And there you go. The value of i is 10 and the value of j is 20. And we know that this j variable is of the unsigned integer data type. So that is how you use type def or type definition in the C programming language.